here is the thing. The, the clear point, my clear point is there is no evidence for all of this. this. There is no evidence for witchcraft, number one. I've said that if there is any specific case that you can mention, I can always come up with a, a more reasonable and more plausible scientific explanation that can explain it. Explanation. Um, then, then here's another thing. The fact that science cannot explain something, it does not mean that you bring in God and then say that, oh, religion or God explains it. It means that that is the work of God. No, uh, uh, the difference religion. is that we should... Uh, religion, religion, religion is a term that is like... Uh, we understand that when people have given up their reasoning faculties yeah. and have set a certain norms without questioning them, that is when you are religion. Even being spiritual is being scientific. Yeah, in a sense. Okay, yeah, I accept that. In a sense, being scientific, you can be spiritual, spiritual. scientific. Those words can be used, and especially when you, if you can give you... Being spiritual give, is being scientific. There are people who can give personal and, meanings. You know, being spiritual is... Accept. Yes. Yeah. I accept that yeah. you can be scientific and spiritual and people can give subjective meanings to the, to the word spiritual and everything and it can still apply in a sense. But the idea, my, my, my point is that there is no one, nobody, because of, of the way we understand science and the way, so if you have an idea, there is no one that can claim, especially in, it is in most cases, if you look at it, most of those cases always come in come from places where there is a very little understanding of science. Perhaps the literacy level is very low. There are more illiterates. It's coming from people in rural areas where people are very, even in urban areas, but where the scientific understanding is very mind small. So these stories come in and people describe witchcraft, people describe stories of some mystical things and always attributed to some supernatural or mystical phenomena. But my argument is that why, science... I will, why I would prefer that we should admit that it exists yeah. to give explanation, it to let people settle down, it's to let people give closures to happenings around them so that they can move on. But will you accept that it's it real? Is, is it okay? That is just of course that is when just, you see uh, something that you cannot explain, it's happening, it is real, right? No, if you see something that you're not explaining, if you meet somebody who is able to channel uh, quantum energy into manif uh, into manufacturing of gadgets. He said, what is that? Okay, that is science. They actually, they actually know the process. So, say, so you, maybe you are trying to say science is witchcraft. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> of so, course. So, so if, you say science, if, 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 if a grandfather should uh, notice that we are speaking and seeing each other and be able to see, he said, no, this is witchcraft. Okay, so. Uh, this is one, this yeah. explanation for things that we don't have a mastery over. But so I, which can so be just I, an I explanation yeah, of what you sense, don't have right? any mastery, and then yeah. somebody somebody is able to use it to his own advantage. In a sense, what I would give, maybe you're trying you're trying to just maybe give what I would say, what I would prefer you say in this case is that these things that happen, they can actually be explained by science. Just that the people experiencing that phenomenon, they do not have a good understanding of it, so they invoke this supernatural. They invoke witchcraft to explain it but science can explain this conversation as you rightly said if we were having this conversation 400 years ago when science just started it was in, in before that uh, let's say 500 years ago we would have been burned at, at the village center for witchcraft how can you speak uh, distance kilometers away you're speaking even the phone Wait. you're speaking yeah that is witchcraft yeah. in those yeah. days they bring you to the the village center they set you on fire for uh, 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 performing, <laughs> talking to someone. <laughs> Magic. Yeah, that the person is not <laughs> able it. to talk to that person. So yes. my, that is my opinion. For e everything that goes as witchcraft, especially in our, in, in our setting, in our uh, community society, my, my argument on... Uh, on a lot of magical things are still left unexplored. So, <laughs> but here's the thing. So that, that is the witchcraft. Point. But the, the quotas, we, we refer to those things as God of the gaps. God of the gaps mean, for example, initially it was believed by the Christian church, the Catholic church, that the earth, our planet, was at the center of the universe. Not even the, the center. They didn't, yeah. they didn't have an understanding of the cosmos, the, the, the galaxies and everything. So they, they say the earth is at the center of the universe. And everyone had to believe that. If you didn't believe that, you were considered heretic. That is an outcast, heretic. Yes, a crime, an outcast, a crime against the church. They will either exile you or put you to death. 
So you have to believe that. So when scientists oh, came, are in, <laughs> yes, scientists came in, Galileo and the rest, they were able to predict that no, the Earth is not at the center of the, the, the... By the way, there are multiple planets, there are multiple galaxies, billions of them. We are in the galaxy called the Milky Way. The sun is at the center of that galaxy and the Earth rotates around that sun. So the Earth is not at the center. And when that happened and everything changed, you know, science developed and we now understand where we are in the cosmos. We are just, if this is, this is my, this is my, let's assume this is the cosmos. The Earth, our planet, is just a small dot on my finger. Yeah. And there are other nine yeah. dots, planets, in a, in a galaxy, a small galaxy here. Yeah. There are billions of other galaxies. Okay. To tell me that God yeah. came, one component of the Trinity, the, the sun, he descended from, I don't know, heaven and came to our galaxy and specifically came to our planet Earth specifically came to reveal himself to a, a very small group, illiterate group at the time, the Jews. If you talk about the Abrahamic God, the first people to have the revelation of the Abrahamic God were the Jews. Reveal yes, himself yes. to the Jews and it has to spread itself around the globe and 2.3 billion Christians today believe that idea. So I don't think that is an idea that can convince anyone that has an understanding of just the basic understanding of the cosmos of how many billions of planets, galaxies, and every other thing that we have. So it's so, it's so, uh, um, the explanation is so reductionist in, in, its, in its approach that it cannot be taken like seriously by anyone that actually understands where we are, the cosmos. So uh, I, that, that, that is my point. For I, I appreciate that from the beginning you said you were.